We are here today in Tuhiri Cafes in the Halim Traveling Incident. Short set for the presentation and may I proceed with your opening statement. Thank you. Your ladies and gentlemen of the court, today we will present evidence that will demonstrate the occurrence of the robbery of the party premises. Our first witness, the teacher, noticed the open doors in standard features, which were suspicious. She promptly contacted the security guard who then called the police. We will provide testimonies and physical evidence to support our case. The author, standing first at the court, will show that there is evidence to prove the robbery took place. Our defense will charge us the identity and the of the witnesses as well as the entry and analysis of the physical evidence. Well, the first thing is, please state your name and occupation for the record. My name is Abraham Lee Gumotas and I'm a teacher at Douglas and Girls College. Please raise your right hand. My name is Abraham Lee Gumotas and I'm a teacher at Douglas and Girls College. Yes. Thank you. You may proceed with your question. At exactly 5 p.m., I was about to leave for home when I noticed that the mundane doors were open and the benches were scattered in front of the entrance. I grew concerned and approached the mundane to investigate further. That's when I saw what appeared to be those for Bulgari. Your Honor, we would like to submit the bag of tools as evidence marked as Exhibit A. These tools were found in the scene and the commonly used for breaking and littering. Thank you. The bag of tools will be admitted as exhibit. Please continue your first witness. Thank you, Your Honor. As I mentioned earlier, I immediately contacted the security guard, Mr. Taxan Justine, and informed him about the open doors and the scattered red benches. I felt that there might have been a robbery or an attempted robbery, so I wanted to ensure the safety of the premises. Well, security guard, please state your name and occupation for the record. My name is Naksan Justin Carl and I'm a security guard at Davos Internet College. Thank you. We will proceed with the testimony. As soon as possible, teacher informed me about the situation. I arrest the campaign to assess the situation. Upon arrival, I observed the open doors and scattered on the which raised immediate concerns. I then contact the police and await for their arrival while keeping an eye on the premises. Will the police investigator please take your name and occupation for the record? My name is Axel J. Otorantina and I am detective with the local police department. Thank you. You may proceed with your testimony. Upon receiving the call of the security guard, I arrived at the hunting premise to investigate the alleged robbery and conduct a group examination of the area of the physical evidence and interview with this based on the evidence and statements gathered. I affirm the opinion that a robbery may take place. Your Honor, MJ, the prosecution did this comment to learn. Understood, Your Honor. Based on the evidence collected, the interface found at the science and CCTV footage, we were able to identify the defendant as a suspect and the robbery. Additionally, additionally we found items belonging to the defendant that we are stolen from the country. The crime scene technician, please state your name and occupation for the library. My name is Mr. Osmondi, and I am a crime scene technician in the Bureau of Police Department. My name is Mr. Chandler, Mr. Osmondi, and I am a crime scene technician in the Bureau of Police Department. My name is Padre Ayala, and I am a crime scene technician in the Bureau of
Thank you. You may proceed with your testimony. Our team was dispatched to the canteen premises to process the crime scene. We collected fingerprints, daily sample, and other physical evidence that we are later analyzed in our laboratory. The fingerprints found at the scene were compared with the defendant's fingerprints and were found to be a match. We also recovered stolen items from the defendant's position, which were identified by witnesses as belonging to the canteen. Thank you for your testimonies. Now, for your presentation. Your Honor, based on the testimonies of the witnesses, the evidence presented in the analysis conducted by the crime scene division, it is clear that the defendant was involved in the robbery. The fingerprints found to the same match those of the defendant. His stolen items were recovered from the decision. Your Honor, I would like to cross examine the witnesses and challenge the validity of the evidence presented. We believe there will be a permanent explanation for the presence of the defendant's fingerprints at the same time of the public the stolen items in the position. Counselor for the defense, you may proceed with your cross examination. First witness, it's possible that the officers scattered trenches were a result of a maintenance are you in the One, it's possible. I have never witnessed the maintenance or cleaning through working at a time of day, especially with the canteen doors wide open. Counsel, for the presentation, we have any rebuttal the defense's arguments? Your Honor, the defense arguments are purely speculative and not appropriate evidence to support your alternative explanation. The presence of the defendant fingerprints of the seed combined with the recovery of stolen items from their position provides a strong case against them. Counsel for the defense, do you have any further arguments for the assessment? Your Honor, we would like to offer an expert evidence analysis to challenge the conclusion known by the crime scene technicians. Very well. Please <coughs> proceed with the following expert witness. Will the expert witness please state your name and occupation for the record? My name is Mimpi Estrena and I am certified fingerprint expert with expertise in fusion. Thank you. You may proceed with your testimony. Your Honor, based on my analysis of the fingerprints collected at the crime scene and those of the defendant, I have found certain discrepancies. While well, there are similarities, there are also multiple differences that raise doubts about the mass being conclusive. Your Honor, we object to the expert witness testimony. Their analysis goes against established forensic standard, and their qualifications have not been properly vetted. Both parties will have an opportunity to present the arguments regarding the admissibility of the expert witness testimony before the court takes a decision. We will be convinced tomorrow to hear those arguments, but enjoy it until then. The court will now hear the arguments regarding the admissibility of the expert witnesses' testimony. Counsel for the prosecutor and the member seat. Your Honor, the expert witness qualification and analysis have been truly vetted. They will have recognized certification in fingerprint analysis and have years of experience in the field. Their testimony is crucial in evaluating the reality of the fingerprint evidence presented by the prosecution. We request the court to admit their testimony as valid and admissible evidence. Your Honor, we maintain our objection to the expert witness testimony. When the witness becomes some way of expertise, their analysis contradicts the conclusion of the crime scene of the technician who are recognized professional in their field. Their methodology and conclusion is further examination. Thank you for your arguments. The court will take a brief recess to review the qualification and the reliability of the expert witness. We will record it shortly.
after careful consideration of the arguments presented, the court finds the expert witnesses qualification and analysis to be admissible. The testimony shall be considered valid evidence in this case. Your Honor, in the last of this morning, we request permission to present additional witnesses and evidence to challenge the conclusions to draw the prosecution expert witness. Counsel for the defense, we will proceed to the presenting and additional witnesses and evidence. Please hear all parties for their presentation. The court will now take some time to review the evidence and arguments before reaching a verdict. This case will be adjourned with the reporter notes. The court will now proceed with the verdict. After truly reviewing the evidence, Testimonies and arguments presented by both sides, it is time to deliver a decision. The court finds the defendant and El Celebrado not guilty of the charges of the The evidence presented by the prosecution, although initially completely, has been successfully challenged by the defense. The doubts is regarding the reliability of the fingerprint evidence combined with the penalty. Explanation provided. A created suitable doubt in the case. The court acknowledges the efforts made by both parties in presenting the cases. It is the duty of the court to carefully evaluate the evidence and ensure a fair trial. The defense has successfully raised thus regarding the prosecution's case and the burden of proof that may meet beyond reasonable doubt. The court session is now adjourned.